This is WHRV News. I'm Gina Gamboni. Hampton Roads drivers have to put up with a lot. Traffic and flooding, obviously. Birds flying around bridges. And what about those highway signs that are hard to see in the dark? Well, WHRV's Sam Turkin has been looking into those signs, and he takes us on this drive. I first noticed the green signs when I moved up here from Miami about a year ago. Many of them didn't reflect at night, almost like they were wearing out. I had never seen traffic signs like that before. I'm out here driving from Norfolk to Virginia Beach on I-264 East. Ah, here's one. It's Lynn Haven Parkway, and you can only see a few letters on the sign when you're right under it. 50 feet away, nothing. I usually use Google Maps to get around, but at night, the signs make it hard to know which exit is which. I've waited for them to be replaced. Some have, but a lot are still on expressways. Two, here's another one. You can't see anything on that sign. It's exit 19B. Three, four, this is definitely a stretch of that. You can't see it at all. It's completely dark. Those signs are terrible. I mean, the signage in the whole area is really bad. David Falconson lives in Norfolk. He's originally from the Boston area. It says signs there can be confusing too, but he thinks the ones in Hampton Roads are worse. If it wasn't for Google telling me where to go half the time, I, I'd probably get lost. Do you ever miss exits because of those worn down I, signs? I have uh, a couple times actually. Like the day when he was driving to a movie theater in Chesapeake. And there's this one division where it divides into three roads. And I was supposed to go left, but it was unclear which road was which, so I went straight, and it added almost 10 minutes to my drive. Falkinson says the signs aren't just annoying. He holds his six-month-old daughter while we talk. Do you feel like it's dangerous driving with her? Yes, it's definitely dangerous. The Virginia Department of Transportation oversees the highway signs. A VDOT spokeswoman says safety is the agency's top priority. Workers are in the process of replacing about 300 old signs around Hampton Roads. That takes time. There's design, approval, delivery. Finally, installation means bringing in cranes and closing down roads. The work is slated to be done by early next year. That's a relief for J.C. Paloma. This area has a lot of tourists and military people from out of town. They don't know where they're going. And then if you miss an exit, road rage, I don't know how people react, especially in a time that's already like extremely frustrating. I think it could be dangerous. Paloma's a lab scientist at the Children's Hospital of the King's Daughters in Norfolk. She says in the past, the signs have made her late for work. I just started wearing glasses too, so it can be a little frustrating. I miss a lot of exits sometimes. I'm not very directionally coordinated. Paloma says she's ready for the new signs to make driving easier in Hampton Roads, at least when it's not raining. Sam Turkin, WHRV News.